today's class i'll explain the isometric projection of a combination of solid let us consider a sphere of diameter 50 mm resting centrally on top of a cube of sides 50 mm we have to draw the isometric projection of the combination of this solid to draw the isometric projection of a cube uh, take the line tool and using the normal line you can draw the base of the cube so you have to draw 30 degree lines so here the uh, sides of the cube is 50 mm so you can type 50 mm then at an angle of 30 degree so that will give one side uh, press enter key so you got the one side and again 50 mm side at an angle of 150 degree okay so that will give another uh, side at 30 degree angle in the opposite direction then again 50 mm length at an angle of 210 degree press enter then you can close this so that will give the base so 50 mm side at 30 degree 50 mm side to 150 degree again 50 at 210 degree and then close the this base square it's not isometric projection we are not reduced to isometric scale so this is a isometric view of the square base now you can select this and then move a copy of that to get the top face so use the move command and you can move it by a step distance so to get this step distance uh, you can use the tab key twice on the keyboard and then there you can type uh, 50 mm and then press enter so now uh, with this switched on you can move this by a step of 50 mm so you can move sideways but we we want to move it upward so when you get a step of 50 mm so if you move further you will get at a 100 mm distance so when you get a step of 50 mm you can stop the mouse and click so you will get a copy of that then you can right click and terminate the command now using the line tool you complete the edges so from here you can project it okay now you have completed the uh, isometric view of the cube now you can position it a little down now you have to locate the center of the sphere so from the center of the top face you have to locate the center of the sphere so center of the sphere in isometric projection always will be at a reduced height and it, the center will be at a height of uh, radius from the center of the top face the center of the sphere will be at a height of a radius which is 25 in this case but uh, in isometric projection that will be reduced to isometric scale so in isom uh, isometric projection all the cube dimensions all the vertical and horizontal edges all will be reduced by isometric scale so uh, we can locate the center by taking actual radius then you can scale down everything into isometric so i'll uh, from the center of the base this is the center of the base i can see two uh, alignment indicators using that that will give the center of the top face so from here you can draw a vertical of height 25 mm okay so that will uh, meet here the corner in this case it will meet at the corner because uh, the radius is equal to the half the side of the uh, cube so in this case it is meeting here the corner of the uh, cube now everything has to be reduced isometric scale so you can select uh, the whole thing you can uh, scale down to isometric so isometric scale factor is 0.816 so you can type 0.816 now you have to give a reference point to keep this figure so you can uh, select any point so i'll just select the bottom point 
so I have scaled down this to isometric scale. Now this is isometric projection of the cube, but uh, also I have this center located, so that is at isometric of radius. This is uh, the center of the sphere. But in isometric projection, the sphere will be a circle of true radius. So you take the circle and then at the center of the this point, center, the center, draw a circle of true dimension that is diameter 50 mm. So that will uh, give the isometric projection of the sphere. Now you have to show the visible part of the uh, cube this part of the edge will not be visible and here this part of the top edge will not be visible so but here this up to here uh, it is visible so sphere is covering part of the edges here so you have to split the this line at this point and again this line you have to split at this point and you have to darken the remaining parts so you can use the split command to split this line at uh, the intersection here and again this line you can split at the intersection now select uh, all the visible edges uh, hold down the control key and then select all the visible edges and uh, change the line type to visible so you can change the line type to visible so this will give the isometric projection of the cube with the sphere centrally uh, placed on top of that so these two edges are uh, hidden but uh, isometric projection you can leave it as thin line and this part of the edges are not visible sphere is completely visible so this isometric projection of a uh, sphere resting on top of a cube that's all for today. Thank you for watching.